Hello there everyone and welcome to round 2 of the CRS British Touring Car Championship. Today we are here at the Silverstone National Circuit and your pole sitter for the first time in CRS history is Bred in his Peugeot 405, very closely followed by the rest of the top 5. Jaden was in 2nd, I put my 405 in 3rd, Vinnie Roberts got the 2nd of the Team Dynamics Beamers into 4th. Fapster got his Mondeo into 5th with Joseph McKenna very closely behind in 6th in his Any Carina. Tom would put the 3rd of the Beamers into P7. P8 would have been Ibby in his CRS debut in another Carina. Closely followed by a Drifter in the Junior Team Carina. Toru would cl uh, close out the top 10 in his Sierra followed by MBG in his Cavalier. Alex Plunkett would put his car in P12 while Method would uh, secure P13. Saladin would get P14 and Rio in the second of the Renaults P15, while Dominon Cost would get P16 in his Mondeo, very closely followed by Bowtie in his as well, while Clementine would bring up the remainder of the grid in his Cavalier. So then, off the start, we expected to see a lot of the rear-wheel drives do very well here on the run down into Turn 1, and that indeed was the case with Jaden and Vinny immediately storming up into P1 and P2 as we made it coming down now into the second corner, where a little bit of carnage did ensue. Bred outbreaks himself slightly and ran out wide. Same with Tom in the BMW, getting his rear end loose, which ended up him spinning across the field, and him being collected by MBG and the Cavalier, and then we all powered down the back straight. I had to do a little bit of defending against Nick Wu, while everybody else would dice for positions in the early stages of the race. On board then, on the back of the car with me, very shortly you'll see how close Nick Wu was. I ran slightly wide mid-corner, but got a much better exit, being able to pull a rather large gap down into the first corner getting a very, very good run indeed out of that corner there. Now, a little bit further down the grid, we were, here we are watching Joseph McKenna, who very unfortunately, once again, in his second touring car race, got taken out by Fapster to an extent. Uh, Toru got loose on the Astro turf, which got sent uh, into the side of Fapster, and then he got sent into the side of Joseph, who drops pretty much all the way to the back of the grid now. Well, it wasn't the only any Carina that Fapster had to deal with during this race. Here was a Sello Drifter in the second of them trying to go around the outside, and contact was made there. Maybe a little bit of avenging between teammates, but he very swiftly rejoins the track in front of Bred, who, after his rather dismal second corner, managed to claw himself all the way up to about P7, I believe, at this point, maybe P8. Speaking of Bred, he did have a little look inside Fapster coming down into T1, but was unable to to get a manoeuvre done as they all power down then into T2. Rio, I believe it is, comes from a very long way back, locking up his rear wheels, chucking it down the inside. A little bit of contact might have been made, but Bred managed to keep the position coming down onto the back straight. I believe this is on board with uh, Bowtie in his Mondeo. He manages to sneak around the outside of uh, Rio very briefly around the long right hand here, not giving him all too much room, rather putting him on the grass, turning him in, and in doing so, he gets a very poor run out the corner, which allows, I believe, Method in his Renault 19 to get alongside down for the first corner. Those two Renault cars were running very close for the majority of the race. As they come around turn one, uh, unable to get a manoeuvre done as they all power down then, towards turn two. Coming down the back straight then, Toro had something to say in his Sierra after his collision coming on to the second lap. He was going to break very late down into the right-hander, almost get a manoeuvre done, gets his nose chopped off and not have anywhere to go. He's looking all over the back of the car here, but has just simply got no way he can put the power down against Bowtie. Trying to get the slightly better exit out the corner, but he's going to take the long way around coming down the straight and there's nothing he can do coming down into that first corner. Further up the grid though, Fapster must have had a slight issue as Plunkett managed to get ahead of him in his BMW, but swiftly Fapster manages to overtake him down the inside for turn one. No problems there. Alex did have a little look back coming down into the second corner, but unfortunately outbreaks himself and that put him out onto the grass, completely ruining his run down onto the back straight. 
At this point, then the grid was mainly spread out with the front guys getting uh, mostly ahead by a little bit and then the guys at the back involved in incidents early on had to try and claw their way back through. Very notable drive from Ibi, I think it is, in the Securical Karina, who actually managed to start from the pits. We're still uh, unsure on the reasoning behind that, but that was indeed the case. Alex once again managed to get involved in some action when he loses the rear end coming round turn two and three and that allows the Renault of Riosuck to try and attempt to manoeuvre on the outside but Toro at this point was on the inside and he definitely had something to say once again. Runs it a little bit deep into the corner but he's still going to be on that inside for the long right hand though which is what he does and he manages to put his power down earlier in an absolute textbook manoeuvre from Toru to gain a position there. They all power down towards the first corner but I don't think any of them have got the speed to get a manoeuvre done. Of course I haven't mentioned it this round. Oh okay, uh, Plunkett did manage to get back through, my bad. Um, I forgot to mention that Ballast is, is being run. Uh, for the top 10 finishes from the previous race. Uh, I don't think that actually affects any of these guys here. However, the front runners, like me, Jaden, Vinny, and Faustor, and all that lot, we were running some rather heavy ballast, uh, all the way up to 56 kilos, going down, I believe 56, no, 54 kilos. Anyway, Alex Plunkett gets very sideways, coming into the second to last corner. And here we can see then, uh, this is the same lap, coming down into the first corner. The Renault takes it very deep indeed. I believe that's of Rio, and then he runs it out wide. Now, coming up to the front, this was for the battle for second. After the amazing pull away that Jaden had done, he's about five seconds up the road at this point. I managed to claw my way back to Vinny, gaining about three seconds over the course of 12 laps, which just shows how quickly those Team Dynamics cars are running. Uh, managed to get past him round turn two and three however Vinny was not best pleased with that and he is immediately going to dive for the outside on the next corner and got to give it to him he manages to pull it off takes a very good line around the outside I can't put the power down as he's still there on my outside I run a little bit too wide I must admit on the uh, on the entry sorry and that allows him to sneak through however with me taking that slightly wider line I've carried a bit more speed out the exit and that allowed me to go around the outside of turn one, a manoeuvre that I wasn't particularly sure was going to work. But Vinny gave me the room and gave me the space. And good driving on him particularly. Can't fault him at all. He's done very well in his first two races here at CRS. Here then was a battle between Joseph McKenna and that Securicor Carina, which had slowly been working its way up the field throughout the laps. Of course, starting from the pit lane as earlier mentioned. However, Joseph was going to take a position out of that after his off uh, on lap two. Gets a very nice manoeuvre done uh, down the inside there. The, uh, Ibby was going to have a look down the inside, give him a little bit of a tap, but no space there to make the overtake, and Joseph was very, very clear about that. Bowtie here on board with, he ran a little bit deep into the first corner and then takes a very aggressive line into the second one pretty much all four wheels on the grass there just trying to find a little bit more time into turn two but that unfortunately caused him to go out wide and lose a fair bit of time this is the next lap bow time is to stick with him uh, goes to the inside rio beats his horn knowing that it's not going to go well and manages to get an undercut after running wide but he didn't particularly have anywhere to go there at all this is on board with bread looking at the back of his car he ran wide in the latter stages of the race and that allowed one of the Renault cars I believe this one is of method and in his attempt to make a slightly defensive maneuver locks up the rear wheels and that gets sent into the side of him no real problem though as both drivers keep going and it was both agreed between them that all was fine there a couple laps later one of the any Carinas this must be of Joseph uh, manages to have a look down the inside of the Renault but I don't think manages to pull the manoeuvre off so they're still going to be fighting down to the Renault much later on the brakes runs it a lot deeper but Joseph hasn't particularly got anywhere to go to put the power down a couple laps later uh, Ibby and his green is now right on the back of Method in his Renault these guys of course running together uh, I believe they're in a team of some sort um, so of course they're going to be very respectful between those but I think this might have even been on the last lap or second to last lap 
if he was able to chuck it down the inside, unable to get a manoeuvre done that time round. This was with a very, very limited lapse remaining on the race. And then uh, he manages to chuck his Karina down successfully this time to get that position, which was actually the final points position for P10, I believe this was for. So the difference between half a point and a point, not particularly much, however, as we all know, points do definitely add up. So here is your finishing grid. Jaden won the race, won the race, he won the race by about three seconds over me in that little Peugeot that's just stormed by the grid now. Vinny was able to bring home a podium for Team Dynamics, then it was a Sunny Drifter, then Fatster and his Mondeo, so a very good weekend for the Team Dynamics team. Uh, putting in some very solid points. Tori then in his Sierra, MBG in the Cavalier. Brad, a bit unfortunate from pole, uh, comes P8, closely followed by Joseph McKenna, and then the two guys that we watched for the remainder of the race, uh, Ibby and Method, putting in some very, very good battles indeed. So thank you all very much for watching this uh, little highlights video. Of course, there are uh, links down in the description. We do currently, at the time of recording this, have one slot still available for the league after one guy has dropped out. So if you are interested in getting involved, feel free down below. But thank you all very much for watching this video, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.